All right. So welcome back. So now what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and transform this broken series of text into a normal sentence that is perfectly formatted just like this. I'm going to show you a couple commands, then we'll run through those just to give you an example of things that you can do with these formulas. So we'll begin with the proper. So we already covered proper. So, you know, if we want to add proper, then we simply type proper right here. And there we go. We now have that fixed. So now what is the left function? So what the left function does is it allows us to take the number, it, it essentially displays the number of characters to the left of the formula. So if you input a string, like you, we can see here, so you input a string of text, then you also want to input the number of characters that you want to display. So in this case, uh, a character is either a space, a letter, an exclamation point, whatever. So let's count the number of spaces that we want to display if we want to cut off these last four exclamation points. So we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is select the left function, tell it that this is the string we're referencing, put a comma, and I think I said 14 characters in from the left is how many characters we wanna display. I miscounted. <laughs> so what this is doing is let's try 18. There we go. Can you see what's happening here? So with this left function, we're passing in a string, which is this cell, and then telling it how many characters to the left, starting with starting at the B, how many characters do we want to include? So if we had said one instead of 18, it would just be the character B. However, since we want to pull in all the characters that are correct here, we'd hit 18. This function works similarly with right. We can just say we want it to reference this string and we want to only display, hmm, let's say four. So what, what you can see is this is going to display all characters coming in that starting from the right of the string that we're passing it. So if you wanted to see, you know, what are the four characters that this, uh, that this string has from the right, you're seeing one blank space, one exclamation point, one blank space, and one exclamation point. If we passed in two, we should just see one blank space and one exclamation point. And that's what we see. So as you can see, the right function is not use, not as useful here. But what we could do is if we wanted to, instead of cutting off something that came at the Let's say, uh, let's say there was some garbled text here in the first place. So if, if there was a bunch of bad text, we'll, we'll, see, we'll copy this example down here. All right, sorry, cut that example down here. Let's say that there was some bad text, perfect, over in front of this. Say we had a B, N, B, NBA for some reason was there. Oops, right, that needs to come outside of the formula. Here, let's add it here. So as you can see, this is now adding two characters, NA, that we don't actually want to display. If we wanted to remove those using the right formula, we could do right, tell it what string we want it to reference, and then have it come in, uh, let's say 18 characters. Okay, so it clearly needs to be more than that. <laughs> let's try 26. Now let's try 24. Boom, there we go. What you can see this formula is doing is it's showing you the first 24 characters starting from the right of the string we're giving it. Next, we'll quickly go through the a couple other functions. Uh, 
including the rephrase, substitute, some of the other cool things you can do with formulas. And then we'll wrap up and move on to the next section, which is charts and whatnot.